Hello friends, how are you today? I'm Bay, and we are still working on our shapes today. I hope that my friends have been looking around for their shapes. I hope that you have. I know that some of you still need some work on it. And so we have this day set up so we can play with Play-Doh. Oh yes, we're going to play with Play-Doh. We're going to look at our shapes and we are going to have fun. So are you ready? Okay, this one is a heart. This one is a circle. This one is a star. This one is an oval. This one is a square. This one, whether it's tall or long, it's a rectangle. This one is our cone. Do you remember our cone? It looks like the triangle. Here's the triangle, but this one is a cone. Cone, triangle, okay? Triangle, cone. And we have a diamond, okay? All right, so guys, now we're going to look at some pages. This one is a page. It is for our square. This page is for our cone. This page is for the diamond. This page is for the heart. This page is for a circle. This page is for rectangle. Remember I said if it's long or if it's tall, it is a rectangle. This page is brown. Wonder why this one is brown. But this one is for our triangle. Here's another page. This one is for the star. And this last one is for the oval. Remember on the other big page that Tanta was coloring? And the oval we did in green words because we said we can't see yellow, right? We couldn't see yellow. Okay, so now that we've seen that, guys, it's time for us to get to the Play-Doh. Are you ready for Play-Doh? I'm ready for Play-Doh. Let's see. I have purple. And I have green, and I have light blue, and I have pink, and I have dark blue, and I have orange, and I have white, and I have red, and I have yellow. Okay, now let's see. I have the purple cone. I have the light blue circle, and this Play-Doh looks light blue, but it really is turquoise. When we open it, you'll see. But this was a light blue marker, so we're using it for the circle. And then we have an oval. It's yellow. And then we have a star blue. And we have a heart pink. And we have a triangle, and we don't have any brown Play-Doh, so we're going to put it on white. That's why my paper over here is brown, because if I put that white Play-Doh on that white paper, 
it'll be hard to see, just like I told you about the white crayons. The white crayon, you have to use a color page like brown or red or green or pink or any other color except white because you can't see white on white. So for our triangle that is brown, we will use the white um, Play-Doh and we will put it on the brown paper to go with the brown triangle. Then we have orange for the rectangle, orange Play-Doh. We have red square, red Play-Doh. And we have our green diamond and our green diamond will go with the green Play-Doh. Okay? And so, now that we see a diamond, an oval, a rectangle, a triangle, a heart, a circle, a cone, a star, and our square. We have all of our shapes matching our Play-Doh colors. And I have that little roller that came with our cutters for our Play-Doh. And I have my plastic knife. Remember I said it's okay to use a plastic knife when we are playing with Play-Doh. But you still have to be careful, friends, because it has ridges and it can still maybe tear your skin a little bit if you're not careful. Or something that is like this type of vinyl or soft covered table, if you cut too hard, it may cut a little hole into it. So we want to be careful, even with a plastic knife. So let's set up our papers. We have an oval and a triangle and a rectangle. Let's slide our oval up and let's slide our rectangle over a little bit. And we have a circle. Let's put it here. Okay, we need a little bit more space, guys. And we have a heart. And we have a star. Let's move some of this over, too. Because we need some space to roll our Play-Doh out. That should be okay. Okay. And we have, uh oh, two of them. We have the cone. And over here we have the diamond. And I'm going to put this one in the middle. And that's a square. In fact, I'm going to move it over a little bit more so I can make sure I have plenty of space to roll the play-doh okay all right that looks pretty good this should be enough space for me okay so that's a heart circle rectangle cone square diamond star triangle and oval okay now we're ready to start rolling our play-doh let's set this up here and let's get uh oh i covered the camera let's see how we're going to get this to set here for us I have to, uh-oh, Tundra's going to have to help us out. Let's see if she can be a big help to us today. Because it is too tall. 
It's too tall, guys. I'm still working on it. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you can see me and hear me, it is okay, right? I'm getting it together. I'm getting it together. Let's see. Can we see really good? Because sometimes it doesn't have the best capture. Okay. That's enough space. If I work right here, you should be able to see me. So, let's start with blue. And that is for our star. That means we're going to make that shape with our Play-Doh. Got to dig it all out. I got all of it out. Okay, let's try and make us a star. I'm going to smush it down and turn it over and smush it down. And then I'll get this little roller. I have a big roller upstairs, but I didn't want to get that. So I'm going to use this little teeny one that came with the cutter. I have to use it with both hands because it can come off, guys. And I don't want it to break because it's all the Play-Doh. All right, so I'm rolling it out. Rolling it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sometimes you got to roll backwards. Okay. Now, that's enough. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut one there and one here. And then I'm going to cut, let me see, I got to figure out how to do this. One here, and one here, and let's do one here, and one here, and let's do, let's see, wait a minute, oh, it came apart. Let's see. We got to come up here. I can't have it cut all the way out. Let me cut this one. And then this one. And now we can take this piece out. We don't need that. And let's see if we made the right way. I don't know. It's so hard, guys. I've not done this before. I did not practice because... I'm learning like you're learning how to make shapes out of Play-Doh. And sometimes it's not so much fun if you know how to do it really good and I don't, right? So I was learning like you. It's not the best star, friends, but it looks like a star a little bit. All right, let's see. We have one point there. One point there, one point here, and then I think we need to move this in a little bit. And there it is. And let's see. Here's our Play-Doh star, and here is our paper star. That's a star. Put that on that page. Okay. Now, let's try. We'll put this up because we're finished with the blue and then let's try rectangle okay let's get the orange oh oh sometimes you gotta squeeze it all together because it's all broken up or crumbly and then we squish it down smush 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 then we turn it over Nice and flat. Nice and flat, guys. And then we roll. Roll, roll, roll. Roll it out. Roll it out. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Takes a lot of rolling. Up and down. Oh, you got to roll it out. Roll it, roll it, roll it. 
We don't want to make it too flat, but we want to roll it, roll it. And then that should be enough. Okay, then I'm going to cut this one. This one is so much easier because we just got to cut it long and long again. And then we can take this piece off. Uh-oh, I need to cut it a little more. And there we go. We have us a rectangle. And here's our rectangle paper. There we go. So we'll put it up here on the rectangle paper. Okay. Now we will put the top on and let's try a triangle. It's brown. Brown paper. Remember? Because we did not have found a piece of orange. We did not have brown play-doh. So Tanta said, let's use the white one. And we will get all of it out and make us a triangle. Sometimes it's so hard to get it all out, friends. All right. But you got to keep digging. We'll squeeze it and mush it and smush it and smush, 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 smush. And then turn it over. Smush it, and now we're ready to roll. Roll it out. Up and down. Do you see me moving it all around? Yep, I'm not going in one direction only. All around, guys. Yes, now that should be okay. And then we will cut a triangle. And this one we just go on an angle or a slant. And then we go across the bottom. An angle or a slant on both sides. And then across the bottom. Now, let me cut that one off, and then we'll peel it away. And it's all done. And now, put that top on, and we have us a white triangle. This one is brown, and this one is white. If I had made a white triangle and put on the white paper, you still can see it, guys, but it's not the best way. So I wanted to use a color paper. So this is white triangle, brown triangle, and we'll put it on the triangle page. Now you can see it so much better, right? You can see it better there. Can't see the brown triangle cut out too much. But let's set it up here a little bit. Then you know it's there. Okay. Now we will do, let's do the square. Red. Let's do the square. Okay. All the red. All the red. Squeeze it all together. Mush, smush, 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 smush. Turn it over and roll it out. And roll it out. If you don't have a roller, guys, you can use your Play-Doh cup. You can use this. This will roll it out for you. You use two hands and you roll it and roll it. And 
it'll make some grooves in there, but it'll be okay. You still can use it and just turn it over. Okay, that'll still work. And then we go one side, one side, then across the bottom and across the top. Go over it again, make sure it'll cut all the way out. And then we pick this up and we got us a square. Put the top on, make sure your top is on nice and tight because you don't want your um, Play-Doh to get hard. So here is our red square and our red square. And we will put that on the square page. And now let's do a cone, purple. Purple. Oh, you can take all of it out. Okay, now, Smush, smush, smush. Okay. And turn it over. Then we're going to roll it out. And we're going to make us a purple cone. All the way out. Up and down. All the way out. Uh-oh. All the way. Okay. And then we can turn it over. And now we will make the cone on a slant. And a slant just like we did for our triangle. You're right. And then we want to come up. Now with the cone... I give it a little curvy cut out at the top because we want it to look just like it's going to be holding some scoops of, you got it, ice cream. And then we can peel this one off. Uh oh, it's not cut all the way. There we go. And we're all done with the purple in the can, nice and tight. Okay, and our cone, you know we have those lines on it because we want it to remind us of an ice cream cone. So I'm just going to put a little few cuts on here, just a few, and go across, not too rough because we don't want to cut through. And there is our ice cream cone. It's a cone, not a triangle. It does look like a triangle if you hold it that way, but the little curvy makes it a cone. And we will put it up here on purple. Okay, guys, we have four more to do. Let's go with our oval. The oval is a yellow. Okay. I saw some on the top. Oh, got to get it out. Got to dig it out sometimes, guys. Got to keep digging. It's all stuck to the sides and everywhere. But you got to keep on digging it out. Some of my friends don't care. They like to dig the Play-Doh out. All right. And then, smush, smush, smush. All right. And then, we want to roll it. Okay. 
right guys and then we turn it over and now we gotta make us an oval so this one we're going to go around and around and around and we're going to come back the other way curvy 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 around and around curvy but it's a slant curve because it's not a circle there we go and we're all done with the yellow okay and now we have us a yellow oval to go with this oval there we go and this one guys is going all the way up here on this page okay so we have three more let's see i hear you tundra okay there she is she wanted to come i heard her okay did you say hi to the people please subscribe did you say hi you didn't say hi tundra you have to say hi oh there she is she said hi okay thank you tundra thank you okay okay tundra okay it's okay we heard you all right okay let's get to the heart okay let's get with the heart and we have pink this time okay make sure you can see i got some on the lid okay oh The next time, guys, when we do our shape lesson, we're going to find some things around our house that look like a certain shape. And I want you to start looking around your house. Like I have, what do I have right now? I have, okay, I see tape. Okay, this tape, what shape is that? A circle. I see that. And I have color pencils. Color pencils, that's a rectangle. Whether it's tall or long, it's a rectangle. Okay, what else can I find right here? Oh, I see something. I found a letter, letter A. It's a square. That's what I want you to do. I want you to find some things around your house that have one of our shapes in its form. Okay? Because in our next video, that is what we will be doing we will bring some things to the table that have the shapes we have been looking at i hope my friends will find some things i hope that you will okay now this one is going to be another one that's tricky like the star to try and make us a heart. Let's see. I like to start my heart with the letter V. So that's a slant and a slant. Okay? And then we gotta figure out how to go around. I'm dabbing it. I didn't cut through because I need a curvy line to come all the way around here. 
Uh oh. It came out a little bit, but you can fix it. All you gotta do is smush it down and try it a little bit more. That looks okay. Not the, uh oh. Not the best. It's hard to cut it like this. Okay, let's cut this off and see if we can peel it. Okay, uh, I gotta cut this some more. Okay, there we go. We got that one. And here is our heart. That's the heart, and it goes right here on this one. Okay, put the top one. Here's the heart. Okay, friends, let's look at the diamond. The diamond is next. Okay. And we have just one more. I'm going to be looking around my house for some things to bring for our next video on shapes. All right, still more in here. It's a lot in these big cups. The small cups only have a little bit, but this is a big cup. So this has a lot, and we don't need all of it. But I said I'd take it out, so I want to take it out. Oh, I see some blue in here. Oh, I don't remember mixing that. Maybe it was my grandson. He was down here playing with my Play-Doh. I see blue in there, guys. You see that blue? We don't like to mix our Play-Doh colors, but it's in there, so I'm going to mix it all in. When you mix the colors, sometimes it makes it yucky, yucky, yucky colors. And so, I don't like to mix my Play-Doh, but I'm mixing that blue in here. I still see it a little bit, but it's okay. We'll mix it another day if it shows up really big or bright. And we will roll, roll. There's so much I can't roll it. Let's see. I think this cup had the most in it so far. Okay. The purple one was a lot, but didn't feel like a lot like this one. This feels like a whole lot. Like it may need a bigger cup. Okay. That's rolled out a little bit. Let's turn it. Uh-oh. Stretching out. See that? It's too thin. That's why it broke because I, I rolled it too much. Now I got to roll it some more so it can stick together. Alright, now let's try to turn it. Okay, that's alright, like that. Uh-oh. There's so much, friends, that it make the roller go right out of my hand. Because it's so thick. Alright, that should be okay. Now, let's get our knife. And let's make a diamond that's also on a slant like our cone and our triangle. And like that letter V that I just made with that heart. Then we make a long slant at the bottom and another long one. Go over it. I can see that's not all the way out. Let's see. Uh, 
All right, friends. Now, okay. Got that one. Here is our diamond. We got a green one. And we have a green one. Goes right there. And this is our last one, friends. And it is, remember I said this is light blue? And this looks light blue, but the Play-Doh inside is really like turquoise. Turquoise. All right, let's see. Oh. A little bit more. Now, some green here. All right. It's all over my hands the green and the turquoise. Okay, let's see. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, it's green in here too. Oh, I don't know how it got like this, guys. But I see green in here. You want to see it? It's green in there. Okay. Now, we just have to roll it in. Because it's in there. I see it. All right. Up and down. This is a lot like the green one, too. Uh oh. Smushing out. Okay. Let's turn this over. That's okay. Now we will cut us a circle, but I'm going to dab it like I did with the heart because I need it to come all the way around. A full circle, not like an oval. There we go. Let's see. All right, we got it. And we finish with that one. Top nice and tight. And here is our circle. We have. Our circle. And friends, that's our lesson for today. We have been looking at our shapes and we see that we were able to make all of the shapes from Play-Doh. That's something else you can do with your Play-Doh. We have oval, triangle, star, diamond, square, cone, rectangle, circle, and heart. And that is our lesson today, friends. I hope that you had fun with our shapes and our Play-Doh. And I hope that you will be looking around your house for some objects in your house that resemble or even have the same exact shape as some of the shapes we've been looking at. And I will see my friends the next time. I hope that you will be here and that you will bring your shapes all right guys be good i'll see you next time be good and be nice and be kind and i will see you the next time bye bye